Here we have an example of our ever popular vertical accordion. And I know um, there are plenty of people who are like, how do you do it? I just don't get it. Um, this one requires a little bit more setup because we are building content on the same canvas and it kind of requires a little backwards thinking, but let's go ahead and kind of get into, you know, the meat of it. Okay, so first to start, we're going to need um, kind of plenty of working space. So I'm gonna make this pretty big. Um, and now we need to set up kind of like the base of our content. And I know in um, kind of our demo, we have everything that's fixed in the middle, but feel free to kind of clip these to the side if you really want to kind of create a full spanning. Um, and actually, we'll go ahead and do that. Just to be a little bit different. Okay, so I'm gonna make this the full width of our content and I'm going to clip that to the sides. Um, and this is going to have a white background with a one pixel black border. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this over here. And the mobile is going to be a little bit different just because um, we don't really have a whole lot of space to work with, um, especially if you have a ton of content and it can get a little bit tedious to continue kind of shuffling content just to make everything fit because we're gonna have four different tabs in one content box. So um, kind of just plan for if you're gonna have a little bit of content, a lot of bit of content, but then make sure you're building it so that way your end user has a little bit more um, kind of like room to play with if they have much more or much less. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make that 660. And then just to kind of have a better view, let's center this. Okay, so now we have our content background and I'm gonna go ahead and lock this for now. And now we want to make um, kind of our tab styles. So when I say we were working backwards, we're going to start on, I guess it would be, you know, canvas view four. Um, so that way you can kind of see how everything is stacking up, how it looks at the end. And then we're gonna start working backwards to fill up tab one. So, Let's go ahead and make our tab styles. Make a rectangle. This is going to be the same height, 660. And then we'll just say we want our tab to be 30. Actually, it's very small. And you can kind of adjust this however um, many times you want. You're just going to want to make sure you adjust it prior to duplicating. I can't tell you how frustrating it is to, you know, have everything built out and you're like, oh, I forgot that one thing. Um, okay, so we'll make this um, purple. We're gonna want that border. And you don't have to do <clears throat> a border either. You can just keep this, you know, all one background image or just have one line at the top. But just for demo sake, um, we're going to go ahead and put some borders on it. Okay, so because we are full spanning, you're going to want to make sure that that is clipped. And we're going to constantly be previewing it so that way we can kind of see like exactly where we are, if we're messing up somewhere, um, and what have you. Let me just group it. Okay, so we're also going to want some tab titles. So let's put that on here. Um, these are very popular for um, manifestos, for modules, like you can literally do anything under the sun if you have a little imagination. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and also make this so that way when they're clicking on the actual tab, it's going to kind of grab that text. And you can also make little icons if you want to do arrows um, to kind of like show them where they are in the direction. Okay, so I want to center this text in my tab. And is it just me or am I the only one that does not like odd numbers? I, I don't know. I know I'm weird. Okay, so 
kind of just get the base how I want it. So I also want to clip that to the side. Okay, and constantly check my work. Okay, so now they're kind of, you know, grabbing that whole tab title and the whole text. So when I have the click action set, no matter where they click on this tab, it's going to grab that click action. Okay, so make sure you are labeling these. So tab background, and this will be, you know, your title. I think I did something different. <laughs> tab title, this is my background. That's okay. This is my content. Okay, so now that we've kind of have that set up, I, before I duplicate it, I kind of want to set my click actions a little bit more. Um, so I already know that I want, so it's all going to be in the same canvas, but I want to kind of set the link to this canvas. Um, and then I know that this one is always going to be view one because it's tab title one. So I'm just going to go ahead and set view one, even though I haven't set up any canvas views yet. Um, and I always take off scroll actions or the scroll to canvas. Okay. So now we have the, the majority of that set up. I'm going to start duplicating this tab, um, just to account for the four tabs that we're creating and why I want to duplicate it instead of kind of starting from scratch is because this one already has a lot of the settings, like it's already clipped. Um, it's just going to save me so much time. So I'm going to set it next to that first tab, but I'm going to have it overlap. So if I didn't have it overlap a little bit, you can kind of see that I have two borders stacking up. So I'm just going to go ahead and overlap that one pixel. Um, let me go ahead and set my mobile. Same goes for the mobile. Um, and then you can choose to, you know, adjust your colors, however you want. Clear color. Okay. So this will be tab title two. Okay. So now I want to set this click action to be view two. So that way when they click it, if they're on view four and they click, you know, this button over here, it's going to just jump right to the canvas view two. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for two more tabs. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate both of them and then make sure, you know, you're, they're stacking one under. So that way you're not getting that really thick border. Okay. This is going to be three, four. Okay. And then you can oops, adjust your colors. You know, however you want. It does get a little repetitive, so if you can just kind of save yourself a little bit of the strife, and then I'm going to go ahead and set this tab to go to view three, and this tab to go to view four. Okay. So now you can see our tabs are stuck to the side where it is in our example because we didn't clip them to, you know, the left and the right. It's everything is centered. Um, but here we wanted to clip them. Okay. So we like to make our life a little bit difficult every day. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add an image. Um, and then I want this one to be over here. So because we are clipping, I would say, you know, we're going to want to make sure that our content is kind of filling your area and um, you don't have any kind of weird things going here where you have a lot of content here and then you got some floating text and then it's just blank. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, clip this to the side so that way this white area will be all of the content area where your text will be. Um, and because I'm going to clip this image to the side, it will kind of look like the white area is growing and then it gives your content a little bit more room. So I would definitely recommend, um, kind of getting everything, like I said, designed accordingly to how you want it because we are going to be duplicating this and there's nothing worse. Um, and I still want those borders to show up. So I'm going to make this 
um, two pixels less than my content block and then center it so you can still see the border up there and then I'm gonna move this over one. Okay, so now I have my image, it's clipped, I have it you know, down here and now I'm gonna make some space for some text. You know, so this will be kind of like their main manifesto, so main headline. Um, pretty much whatever you wanna put here, like service, I'm into brand design, you know, kind of thing. So. Okay, I could literally go on forever and ever and ever. It will never get old. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my text. Okay, just paste in some text. And now that they have all of this area, um, you could even put in, okay, right here is a prime example. If you have a lot of content, um, it can get a little hairy on mobile. So then you kind of have to um, either account for this within your content box. So you can always just grow that a little bit. Move your image down. And now you have much more content to work with. So let me just go ahead and lock this layer again. So we want to grab and stuff. Um, okay. So now we have... Kind of our basis set up and you have extra room where if they have content um, maybe they want to add a call to action let's go ahead and grab a call to action button and as you do these these will get a little bit faster as you kind of like learn the method to them kind of you know all the things that make them tick oops hello okay that's good enough okay so now that we have kind of um, how everything, how I want it to look. I'm going to go ahead and test it here. So you can kind of see what exactly this does. Now, if you didn't like all of this con or all of this blank space right here, what we could do is we could still clip these, um, to the side, kind of like how we have our tabs and then make this grow to fill up the rest of the content. Um, and like just automatically that looks so striking. Um, I just want to center this a little bit. Okay. I think I'm happy. So now that we kind of have the base of our tabs, how everything's going to look, now we're going to start kind of building in, uh, kind of the canvas views that are the tab, not drop downs, but the tab kind of accordion because it's a vertical accordion. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add in a canvas view and this is going to be tab dash one. So that way I'm duplicating it. I know exactly where it's going. I'm gonna do this four times. Okay. And I am going to pull all of this in. So this is exactly why you need to or kind of design it before you get to duplicating it is because we're gonna put it in one tab and then copy and paste this to each individual tab. Okay, so I'm going to now select all of it and I am going to go into tab three, paste it. So here is where it gets a little bit um, kind of tricky because you are going to have to move articles around. You're going to have to kind of reclip them and still make sure it looks great on the front end, the mobile end, so on and so forth. Okay, so because this is tab three, I know that tab four is going to be closed. So I'm going to push this down here. And then you can't see it right now just because I have my image stacked on top, but you could technically make sure all of your content is under it so you can see that tab. Okay, so you're going to want to do this on mobile as well. We're going to drag this to the bottom of the block. And then what I like to do is because I know that my image is bumped all the way up to, um, you know, that side, I'm just going to go ahead and drag it until it hits that back tab again. Okay. And then, you know, you could come in here and pick another image. And if you want to get fancy, you can always match the buttons to the tab. That's exactly what I would do. Okay, so now because we predetermined that tab canvas view, now once we view it, 
um, you'll see that it doesn't have anything in here, but if we were to, let's kind of make a little cheat button just so we can see where we're at. We'll set this to click action, we'll go canvas, this canvas, and next. Just so we can see where we're at. Where are you? Oh. Yep. I've I've worked with show it before, can you tell? <laughs> Okay, so it kind of, this is Canvas View 1, this is Canvas View 2, and here is Canvas View 3. Okay, so now you can see that I haven't, it's, this tab 4 is still trying to clip to the right, but everything else is moved. So, um, and once we get to 4, you'll see that that tab has gone over. But now I'm able to click this tab because we've set it to Canvas View 3. So now if I were to obviously make sure that I'm setting this to the correct size position, if I'm clipping those to the right, now once we preview it, boop, boop, okay, now you are clipped to the right and I click it, it's going to go to four, it's going to move the tab over. So, you know, by kind of setting up those click actions, it saved us from having to copy and paste and then link every single tab title once again on every tab. So um, because I'm going to keep working down the line, I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this and then paste it into tab two. So same thing we did before. I'm going to go ahead and grab this tab, bump it to that one. I want to make sure that I'm stacking it. So I'm going to move it over one pixel. Same goes for here. Move it down one pixel. And then I'm going to grab all of this content and bump it up to that tab. So now you can, oops. So now you can change your image, um, kind of update anything that you needed to. Um, and then you also want to move it on mobile. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and keep doing this. Okay, so now when we preview it, it will, oh, see what I did? So now this is exactly why <laughs> you need to make sure that as you're duplicating these, you're going through, testing them, making sure that they all function correctly so you don't have to do it twice because now I'm having to clip these twice. So. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we have, we're on tab one. Once we click tab two, it's going to filter down each tab. Now, if you don't want this little fade glitch, um, what you could do is you could go to your animations um, and we will actually wanna go to transitions and it's canvas view in. So I'm gonna set those to none. Um, so that way it kind of just like pops over. Um, if you want to get fancy, we have done slide-ins um, where, you know, you have to have your content slide in, but the content that's already there has to fade out. So it just takes a little bit more practice to continue to do, but that's how you set up your tabs.